This is Armando. I'm Lenny Sanchez. I'm Alex Cabrera. And I'm Omid Niaez. And I'm Eric Cabrera. So now we're testing it. We're not just sunny day, it's about 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Just pour some water and wait for it to boil. We see that our solar cone boiler reaches um, a temperature at least 120 degrees Celsius. Um, right now, um, as you can see, um, it's producing steam. Uh, let's move the, out the thermocouple. In less than one minute. In, le in less than one minute time. So as you can see, when I remove the um, aluminized uh, tape, As you can see, our improvement um, compared to um, a previous design. Uh, the same amount of time, a little bit less than one minute, the old uh, solar coin boiler uh, reached about 30 degrees Celsius. So that, that's about a four times um, amount, amount of improvement in temperature. So for our uh, we're, um, design project, uh, what we decided to do was first take a look at our, uh, the previous project that uh, we have this one, which is a smaller version of what we have right now. Uh, what we realized about this project, we, we had a lot of many, like, uh, it wasn't as efficient as we thought it would be. So what we came out, we, uh, back when our team went back to the drying board, and what we decided to do is like, as you can see right now, we have to pull it on at a certain angle. So it's kind of makes it difficult for us to um, have it pivot or so. And another thing is that we noticed that it doesn't, it takes a lot of time for it to um, bring the water to boil. So what we decided to do for our next project is, um, as you can see, we use the mylar, mylar film. So this is helping us um, reflect more light, sun, um, sun rays into the uh, cone, as you can see. Another thing that we did, uh, one of the things is that if you look at this project, we actually have to hold it against something. So what we did by improving it is we actually, we go to the back. We actually have a string right here where we can make sure the angle so it could be exactly um, pointing towards the sun. So that way we get more sun being reflected towards uh, to our uh, collector. So that's one of the things that we fixed. And actually another thing is for us to have the the cone perfectly have a perfect diameter. We included this um, bicycle ring for it to take that conical shape for it not to be sagging as well. So that's one of the improvements that we did. This thing on word. <laughs> so what we use fuel. Face, solar panels in place, catching solar rays, biogas, rotten waste, geothermal heat, energy, volcanic areas blowing all day, wind turbines turning away, water is safe, floating away, hydroelectric power stations, renewable sources only using about 5%. So what we use fuels, it's what people need, we're just having fun.
everywhere we go with thermal energy Mechanical is up when tides and waves come And then there's hydrogen What brought down one electron Simple but no gas around Always combination From the ground up Organic hydrocarbons Separated, reforming, no pollution uh, Fuel cells combining The two gases really Hydrogen and oxygen Producing electricity Convert the energy Not losing charge As long as the fuel Continues to be supplied F-U-E-L-C-E-L-L-G-A-S For C-A-R's clean fuel C Natural gas, methanol Can fuel cells fuel directly No reason So what we use fuel